Hey, what is up? Welcome back again, everyone. Welcome to another visionary calisthenic video. You already know what it is. Today, I got a tutorial for you, and that's how to do a good form muscle up on the bars. So, all right, guys, let's get straight to it. All right, everyone, so before I jump straight to the tutorial, I want to break down the video for you guys. So, I'm going to break this down into four different sections, breaking down the muscle up into four different sections. Section one is going to be the initial start, whether you're jumping on the bar and grabbing it or you're already hanging from the bar. And then we're going to go to step number two, which is the pull and the transition. Step number three is the dip and step number four is the return. And before we get to those four steps, guys, I'm going to show you the final product and what we're not trying to do. So let's get to that. All right, everyone. So in this demonstration of the muscle up, I want you guys to keep one key factor in mind, and that's my body alignment. At the very bottom position, I am completely straight all the way from my hands down to my heels. So I want you guys to keep that goal in mind. Now also, for the second clip, I'll be showing you what not to do, and that is arching, kipping, and not locking out. So alright guys, let's get straight to the tutorial. Alright everyone, so the initial start of the muscle up is actually the most crucial aspect of the whole muscle up itself, and the reason being is because this is where our form is created. Now throughout this video, we're going to not jump and grab the bar, just because that uh, initiates a very strong swing, and we're not trying to swing with this muscle up, we're trying to do a perfect form all the way down and all the way up. So what I mean by that is, you know, say, you know, you're jumping from over here. This is quite a bit of swing that can be canceled from hollowing, but we're just not going to worry about that. For now, we're going to worry about, you know, jumping, grabbing the bar slightly, and doing the muscle up from here. Now, before we start uh, attacking the muscle up itself, you want to be hollow ready even before you grab the bar. What being hollow ready means is already keeping in mind that you're going to keep your shoulders pushed forward and your abs are going to be braced, creating a slight hollow on your back. That way, when we grab the bar, we're completely straight at the bottom position. And if we, if you guys do end up, you know, jumping and grabbing the bar, you can actually cancel the swing if you're like this. That way, at the very end, you're not arching. Sorry, guys. Now, before we start hollowing on the muscle up, you want to make sure that when you grab the bar, you grab it with a full grip and not off your fingertips. If you're on your fingertips, you're, you can slip off for one, and for two, you can have a very bad transition where you're putting a lot of pressure on your wrist. Now, before we even grab the bar again, you also want to make sure that you lock your arms out at the very end of the momentum. Now, whether you're either swinging, you're jumping from way over here, or doing it the way that I want to do it here in this video, from just at the bottom, close to the bar, at the very end, you need to lock out your arms, or you need to have your arms locked out before you even grab the bar. So let me show you guys an example of what it should look like. So, you know, shoulders forward, hollow ready, brace stabs, grabbing the bar, I'm completely hollowed and straight. Now, something else I do want to mention, guys, is for the cosmetic um, aspect of the form. You guys want to keep your legs together, locked legs, and pointed toes. All right, guys, so one more time, hollow ready, shoulders forward, brace stabs, slightly rounded back to cancel any kind of arching or swinging at the end of the muscle up at the end of the what's it called the initial um, <laughs> initial grab and then from there we're going to transition to the pull and transition part of the video sorry guys let me demo one more time brace stabs shoulders forward body straight hollowed out also head neutral let's go to the pull and transition all right, everyone, so now for the pull and transition. So the pull is fairly simple. I mean, you're just gonna pull as you normally do, but what I normally see a lot of people do wrong is when they, um, you know, they'll hold on to their hollow body, but at the very end of the hollow, at the initial, you know, pull, once they pull, they let go of it and they arch their back. You guys need to keep in mind to keep that hollow body strong, to keep the core engaged throughout the whole rep. Now, what I mean by that is you just, plainly simple, keep your core tight, keep your shoulders forward, even as you're pulling. So that way, instead of it looking like this, it looks like this. All right, guys, so as for the transition, I'm gonna be showing you on a lower bar. So let me go show you over here. All right, guys, so as for the transition, it's fairly simple, just like the pull. You wanna transition as you normally do, but you wanna keep this one thing in mind, and that's not transitioning and slamming your chest against the bar. Now, like when I used to do my muscles when I first learned them, I used to transition and I used to slam my chest against the bar and that is not something you want to do as that can cause injuries and it just does not look good and it's not within the perfect category. Now, uh, what you want to do is right before you're transitioning, you already want to keep in mind that you're going to be pushing down with good force. That way you can control and hold yourself above the bar. That way you can dip out of that. So again, let me show you guys one more time. You're going to do your normal transition, but you're going to try to hold yourself off the bar. That way, 
you're not slamming and it looks really good and it's in the perfect category all right guys let's get to it in the next clip all right guys so just to catch up a bit and show you guys what we got done so far i'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate you now remember guys the key factor here is straight body and you're only going to achieve that with hollow body by keeping your abs braced and keeping your um, shoulders hollowed forward now all right guys remember and grab the bar all together hollow straight body pull and keep your chest off the bar all right guys so let me show you guys what's up with the dip all right guys so for the dip there really isn't much to it the only thing i need to advise you guys to do is whenever you're at the position where your chest is off the bar make sure you lock your arms what i see a lot of people do is anti-shrug just because out of you know a fatigue make sure you keep your shoulders up and as you anti-dip or do a dip negative you want to make sure you don't drop to the bar you want to make sure you drop just a little bit above the bar just like you did when you transitioned over sorry guys that's going to transition into the return of the muscle up let me go show you how to do that all right guys so now we're at step four out of four and that's the return of the muscle up sorry guys let me show you where we're at right now we're at with a full hollow body form legs straight everything straight from the very bottom we're going to pull head neutral chest off the bar dip up now from here guys i'm going to show you guys what we're going to do now like i said in the clip before this you're going to anti-dip to where you're not touching the bar and from there guys we're gonna do the exact same thing we did in the initial start and that is holding a very strong hollow form to cancel any kind of swing or any kind of arching now it's just gonna look like what we did on the way up but it might be just a little harder and it's gonna be something we need to train so let me show you guys what that's gonna look like an anti-dip and holding your hollow form as you can see my shoulders are still in front of me and my core is still engaged my legs are still straight my toes are still pointed and from there you just repeat the process and try to do as many as you can. Now, when achieving perfect form, we usually you know, start losing form as we do more reps and it's completely fine. This whole tutorial was just, uh, just a goal for you guys to try to achieve a really good form if you're kipping, if you're arching, if you're you know, doing something out of the perfect category or out of the good form category. All right guys, that's how you do a perfect muscle. All right, guys, and that wraps up how to do a good form muscle up. Be sure to check out the description for more information. And thank you guys so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already for future content. Be sure to like, share, share with your friends so they can get their muscle up perfect too. And until next time, see you then. Y'all have a great day. Later.